Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel. So today I am setting up a brand new fire stick. So I'm gonna run through every single setting you need to turn off to make it the best device you've ever done. This will be a refresher for some, this will be great for anybody with a new fire stick. Full setup, how to turn all the settings off. And then tomorrow we're gonna to release a video on how to jailbreak it, sideload it, at every app you need on it. This is a brand new fire stick, all clear, so I had to make videos on it as we do it. So before you get started, if you're brand new here, do remember to hit that subscribe button, check out the rest of the channel, there's tons of videos for your fire sticks, setting up, streaming, everything like that. And if you're a regular watcher, do hit share. And we've got a quick question for you today. How many fire sticks do you think they have sold worldwide? Drop the comment underneath in the comments for us. Okay, drop the comments and at the end of the video, we will get that answer. So. What we're going to do, let's get started. We're going to go through every setting we need to turn off to make the device run at its best and to stop you being tracked at the same time. So, first of all, straight across to settings. And as you heard on there, click, 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 click all the way across. We're going to turn that off. Whether you can hear it or not, I don't know. But we're going to get it turned off. The remote sounds are one of the worst sounds you can do. So when you're in your settings, go to sounds, audio, navigation sounds. Turn them off. They're so annoying. Obviously, this is a personal one for me. If you want to keep them on, keep them on, but turn them off. Right. Next up, we're going to get into the tracking side of things. These are the most important ones to turn off. So while you're in your settings, you're going to go to preferences. Okay. And you're going to go start off with privacy settings. See, as you see, as you turn on a brand new fire stick, or maybe sometimes after an update, all of these are turned back on again. So they're worth double checking. Okay. Device usage data. Use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing. No thanks. Turn it off. Collect app usage data. So they want data about the apps you're using. Uh, no thanks. Interest-based ads. I don't want any ads, really, so we're going to turn that off anyway. Okay? Turn them all off. There's your privacy settings, guys. They're called privacy settings for a reason. So let's turn them off, because we want to stay private. <laughs> data monitoring. Monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. So they want to monitor your data as well. Uh, off. Thank you very much. We keep that one off. Notification settings. This is important so there's not any processes running in the background. So do not interrupt. You want to turn that to on so nothing will interrupt you with a notification. Also, app notifications. You can turn these off for each individual app you have installed. So it's definitely worth popping back to this because as you install more apps, more things will pop up. Okay. Featured content. This is the most annoying thing on your Fire Stick, especially as a new one. Okay. Allow video autoplay. Allow audio autoplay. And what this is on your home screen, when you go up to the advert here by mistake, bam, pops out, scares the crap out of you with the vo volume and everything like that. So if you turn it off, you won't get a video there. So go back to settings, preferences. Featured content, off and off. Now, when you go to this advert here by mistake, because no one wants it, that's it. You just scroll through it. No video plays, they're just pictures, okay? Much better, that stops a video suddenly playing in your background using your device resources again. Right, what's up next? Settings. We're going to go My Fire TV. Obviously, you should always check for updates in here. Fire TV Stick 4K Max, we know, we want, what do we want in here? That's right, developer options, sorry I was in the wrong setting. So, we go to My Fire TV, developer options, okay. ADB debugging you leave turned off, okay, unless you're installing some apps, and I'll talk you through all of that tomorrow. And install unknown apps, needs to be turned off for any apps you have installed, apart from ones you are installing via. Again, we will cover that tomorrow. Apart from that, everything in here is fine. We are going to go to now, we're going to go to display and sounds again. Screensaver. I'm not a fan of the screensaver, guys. So I go to start time, never. So you'll never have that screensaver come on. Again, it's up to you. But if it's running in the background waiting to come on, or if it does come on, it's a pain. So I turn that one off. Um, everything else on here is okay. We've done audio, display, everything here should be automatic, not a problem. Right, next up, applications. Right, Amazon Photos, allow guest connections, I turn it off. 
access Amazon Photos, I have it disabled as well. Again, this is a preference, but I don't want any of my photos which I may have stored through Amazon suddenly being on my Fire Stick or vice versa. Game Circle. Um, I doubt many of you are going to game on your Fire Stick because they're not really built for gaming. So we turn that off so it's not syncing in the background. App Store. I like to have automatic updates off so I can pick what updates and what doesn't. Sometimes when you download apps and you're happy with that version, you don't want it to update without anything else going on. Okay, in-app purchases, I turn off, but again, and we can turn notifications off here as well. Manage my subscriptions, I don't have any, that's all online. That's everything in there, obviously installed applications when you get some. Account and profile settings, this should all be fine. Again, parental controls are in here. There is kids settings if you want any. You know, not really interested. Profiles we have, profile sharing. Um, that is how you share, obviously, between other devices. Nothing to turn off there. Um, equipment control is normal. Preferences we've done. Live TV should be pretty straightforward. We can sync this on another video later in the week, and I will show you as we reset up this new Fire Stick. And that is majority of your settings to turn off so if you missed any of those do go back and check them because some of them are extremely important regarding your fire stick next thing you might want on your fire stick is a vpn this will also help with the security of your fire stick keeping you safe online especially if you are streaming especially if you are worried about people selling your data your online safety powerful internet privacy simplified data protection you can sign up for this um, you don't have to, it's your choice, $3.75 a month. This is one of our partners we work closely with and you can install it directly on your Fire Stick, okay? So to get it on your Fire Stick, you would go to Find, go to Search, just type in IP Vanish. There we go. You can install it there and then you get your login from the link underneath um, and that will help you stay safe online. It also helps you change your location if you need to access different apps going forward in the future and you can put it on unlimited devices so it can go on your mobile phone it can go on um, your PC unlimited devices all for $3.75 a month if you're interested in a VPN that is in your streaming so that's linked underneath remember as we said the Doc Swiffy channel is here we're closing in on 350,000 subscribers so do check it out I know this is a bit of a repeat video but there's no reason why we shouldn't do it on a brand new Fire Stick again tomorrow we will be doing the full setup so the jailbreaking, the side loading, the adding all the new apps you need, all will be added, everything you need on a fresh Fire Stick. I will not install anything else on that Fire Stick until tomorrow when I record this next video. Brilliant. So make sure you subscribe. And what was the question? How many Fire Sticks sold worldwide? According to Variety Report, Amazon have now say that it's sold more than 100 million Fire TV devices worldwide. 150 million. That's mental, isn't it? Considering they're all 40 plus. Pounds, dollars, mental. Absolutely mental. Loads of money. They are creaming it in, aren't they? They're a great device, but we don't like to be told what to do. We don't like to be controlled, so we like to turn off our settings. So it's very important. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy. Hope that was useful for anybody new here. I know for people who are a regular subscriber, that might be a bit of a repeat, but it's worth checking after these latest updates when a lot of settings get turned back on. Brilliant. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe, and I'll see you soon.